everybody. It is Saturday night. I just got back from the dispensary in the grocery store. And I got this Evolved T4 train wreck with a total cannabinoid content of 97.51%, which is a new high. I always love a new high. And this says, it's got 93.79, Annie, get out of the video here, 93.79% THC, 1.36% CBG, and 1.22% CBC. I have no idea what CBG or CBC is. I've heard that there's hundreds of different types of cannabinoids out there. And, uh, yeah, each strain does something different to your brain, so, you know, experiment, talk to the folks at your dispensary if you live in a state that is legalized. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to try this, uh, T4 train wreck here for the first time. And as a bonus, while I'm at it, I am in the process of doing a little cooking here. I'm waiting for this water to boil, as they say, wash the pot never boils. I got my ganja butter over here, and let's see, Annie wants to be in the video. Say hi to everybody on YouTube, Annie. Hi, everyone. What do you have on your face? You've been getting into chocolate or something. You got something on your face? Go clean up your face, okay? okay. All righty, and so it's pretty, uh, pretty dark um, pretty dark extract in there. It's usually with um, the, the more pure, the more translucent it is. But uh, if it says 97%, like I live in Oregon, they test this shit like very carefully. And um, from what I've experienced here in my state, I can't speak for in others where testing may be different. But um, the, the numbers are usually pretty reliable. So I'm going to take a quick hit here. It's pretty darn good. I like the I like the taste of it. Um, in here, let's give you a shot of this. This is a T4 train wreck. And all right, let's do our cooking segment. Um, here we have some king crab legs. Look at these monsters. And they're spiny, actually. You gotta be careful picking these things up. Like that. Yeah. So we're gonna take them over here, and the water is pretty much boiling good enough. And these are already uh, cooked and frozen anyway, so really you just wanna wanna warm them up. We throw them in. They don't even fit in the pot. Good grief. Ow. And this vicious bastard's getting his revenge on me. He just stabbed me one. Alright, well, no big deal. We'll just, we'll just make sure that when we dump it back out, we hit it with some hot water, maybe dump some hot water over them real quick, but we're going to leave them in there for a little while and let them get some steam. Meanwhile, we're going to take the ganja butter here, and this is about like, like two tablespoons of ganja butter, and we'll put that on the stove, let that get to melting. A little bit. It's already starting to melt. You don't want to put too much heat on your ganja butter, you know. You want to melt it, but you don't want to burn it. But yeah, well, that's. Melted down, and those guys are looking like they're trying to kill me, but steaming. We'll take a look at our uh, spice assortment here. We're gonna throw 
just a little splash of cream sherry in there. Some extra virgin olive oil. Some garlic powder. A little bit of a pink Himalayan sea salt. black pepper, and we're going to finish off with some dill weed. So let's get it all right. Looks like our uh, butter is sufficiently melted. So we're going to throw in this little bit of olive oil here, just a little bit. A little bit of the cooking sherry. Have a little bit of that myself, actually. Sweet. Okay. All right. I'm do some garlic powder. Just a little sprinkling, you know. I don't. When I'm seasoning, I I really play it kind of, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and it's 40 fucking years old, you know. After all that time, you know. I got the sea salt grinder going here. Just a few quick little grinds of the sea salt. There we go. Okay, now that's getting a little too hot. We're gonna take it off. Like I said, you don't wanna burn it. And we're gonna finish it off with just a little bit of dill weed. Just a little bit. Okay, swish that around a little. And that is exactly what you want. Sherry needs to cook off just a little bit, so we're gonna give it just a little bit more. Of it. And you want that dill weed that's really savory, you know. I don't mess around. I get the I get the organic organic dill weed. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Just just a splash. That's the thing, you know, when you're working with seafood and ganja butter. You definitely don't want to overcook, and you know, it's better to undercook and send it back, but again, this is, this is pre-cooked anyway. They cook it before they freeze it on the boat or whatever, so, uh, yeah, now we're gonna, we're gonna get that out of there. Sometimes you gotta improvise in the field. You know, if you don't have a big enough pot, just flip your crab over for a minute, you know. Again, we just wanna steam him for a few minutes. We don't wanna don't wanna burn him, we just wanna wanna get him nice and warm. Speaking of nice and warm, we got our our ganja butter dipping sauce over here. We're gonna we're gonna pour it into this bowl that you've got ready here. dinner tonight when I want to just finish myself off and knock myself out I'll probably take me a piece of bread and dab out all the all the goodies in the bottom of this pan here horrible that all up later tonight yep, we got our sliced lemons we got our dip we got our king crab legs up here and just once again let's let's get a shot with this magnificent beast. There we go. That's what it's all about, folks. Uh, some king crab legs. We 
with the Gonja butter dipping sauce. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, have a good weekend and happy Thanksgiving.